Good morning. I cannot do gymnastics like that, nor can I sing, so I won't even attempt to uh, entertain you in that way. But thanks very much for having me. I really appreciate being here. I see a lot of familiar faces, and um, I really want to say, uh, as the race director of the Slow Marathon, thanks so much for the community support. It's been outstanding, and uh, I want to thank you for that. Just a quick uh, debrief there is we did have 5,000 athletes this year for the second year. Thank you. We also are most proud that for the Leukemia Lymphoma Society that we support, we have raised over a million dollars in two years. So that feels really good. And you guys are all behind that. So thanks so much for making that happen. Um, so a brief uh, question I have, if you can just raise your hand if you're a walker or a runner. Keep your hands up. If you're a hiker, a swimmer, or a cyclist in this community, or if anybody that you love is any of those. <laughs> so as you can see looking around the room, it's where we live is an incredibly active community and I love living here. I'm very proud to be part of this community. I'm actually an ex-couch potato myself. Seven years ago I was 65 pounds heavier than I am uh, doing absolutely nothing and pretty much a train wreck. So personally through my own journey um, I have found my way into this world of athletics and I'm really really proud to be part of that and I have to say it's an absolutely a catalyst for change. So becoming a, a coach, an athlete, and then getting certified as a race director was definitely the life path that um, was made for me. And in that process, I have met so many amazing people and have been so inspired. So to be able to uh, produce the San Luis Obispo Marathon, which was a huge passion of mine from the beginning, and my business partner, Heather Hellman, she's also a walker runner, um, has just been so just life-changing and in that process being able to really reach uh, on a national level and even internationally into this community that is just really really powerful so all of you are part of that it doesn't matter if you're a walker a runner a recreational athlete of any capacity we really are one community and being um, witness to what happened in Boston really was proof of that yet again I, I see that at races all the time. I go to a lot of races, uh, either working, helping, volunteering, or being a race um, athlete myself, and really getting to see what happens out there, whether it's one athlete who has transformed their life and their story, or literally the millions and millions that have done that, and I'm sure a lot of people you know or yourselves in this room have an inspirational story related to that and what it feels like to cross a finish line. So. Uh, Heather Hellman, my business partner and I, we were in Chicago at the time that Boston was bombed and we were actually at a convention with 1,200 other industry peers and it's a national convention and there were international people there as well. So it was uh, races, a lot of marathons were there, New York Marathon, LA Marathon, Chicago Marathon and other huge uh, events, sporting events predominantly, but there was also some music festivals and so forth. So we were in these groups in educational formats and doing some really solid business there in the middle of all that when this started unraveling and we all of course went out, all 1200 of us, and watched it um, before our eyes on the, on the TVs there at the hotel where we were staying. And it really just completely transformed uh, the, the business that was occurring. Of course, everybody was just devastated. And it was very, very emotional. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it still is. And even though we weren't there, and actually um, being assaulted ourselves, it absolutely felt as if we were. And it was so fascinating to see how this group of people, business people, technically competitors, but yet not, we're all sharing the same vested interest in the success of our industry and of getting the world fit. Um, we really just felt so deeply saddened, but at the same time, the power that came out of that was to see the immediate unity that was formed and the conversations that started to occur, occur during this process and immediately afterwards. So it definitely changed the vein of everything that we did moving forward that day, but 
In particular, we went into a breakout group that was just sporting events and particularly um, marathon races, actually. And we had some international races as well as national races there. So we really did discuss very deeply how this would impact our industry moving forward, how it would affect um, athletes, sponsors, the cities that we host our events in, and what that might look like for us, and how we could very positively come together as a group and ensure that this um, did not negatively affect our industry but most importantly, what were we going to do to ensure the safety of our athletes and spectators? And all of you who are invested in this community, I'm sure, are very passionate about the safety of your community, as are we. So we have put a lot of time and energy, and we already did, to be honest. We spent a lot of time and energy and have an amazing staff that um, produces our event. We've already talked about a lot of these things before this event happened, but it's really raised uh, it to a whole new level. So we just want to make sure that everybody in our community recognizes that... Um, we are working with all the municipalities to discuss the process moving forward. Everything we do will have a higher level of security attached to it. But we will do everything, and it is always going to be our number one priority to ensure that our athletes and our spectators and community is safe. And we really want to say thank you again for anyone who's um, supported our event in any capacity, and we really appreciate that. We hope you do come out, and as we continue to strategically grow this event in a safe manner, that we continue to have the support, and hopefully all of you, since you're walkers and runners or athletes of some type, will eventually take uh, part in one of our events. There's real quick, there is a fundraising run that's going to be happening, and if anyone wants to talk to me about it afterwards, just come find me, and I'll give you the details related to that. Thank you, Thank Samantha. you very much. Thank you.